pay attention, kids, because you're about to learn a lot about squids. That's right. All ink. right, so let's jump into the third area. So this is the hub world for uh, play. This is Octo Valley, and this is where the single player happens. You can actually just shoot whenever you feel like it. And there's, uh, as you can see, we're just spreading our color everywhere. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to jump into this level to kick us off. Uh, now, so this is Rise of the Octocoppers. Okay. Now, if you guys are watching at home and you have any questions or stuff you want to see, there's only a certain amount we can show you, but um, yep. if you have questions or requests or uh, cool squid trivia, let us know. Just hop <laughs> on Twitter and use the hashtag IGNPlaysLive, and we will uh, we will keep an eye out for it. Yep. So right now we're just going through single player, and you can actually mess around with these guys a lot. So like you saw, he saw me in Metal Gear fashion, and that X just means I can hit him from here. So when I pop up, he's gone. Um, so you can have a lot of fun with sort of taunting the enemies, uh, which is something that uh, I don't think a folks pick up on that often. Or I, I especially love when games let me do that, right? Like I love like Metal Gear Solid 3 is a great example of that. Uh, there's a couple Mario games, 3D Mario games, where that's kind of fun too. And we can actually make his life miserable. So I'm kind of surprised because you do have yellow ink. Yep. Uh, I was under the impression that there was no yellow ink because it looked too much like pee. Uh, yeah, we were talking before, and there's no browns or reds to be anywhere, <laughs> to be seen anywhere. But, huh. uh, no, the colors, um, like, I've seen a lot of, like, blues and, uh, and greens and purples, but you're right. So, check us out. That's how the internet works, I yeah. think. Yeah, we're it's, in a tube. This is how this... just a <laughs> inky cartoon teenager goes through the tube by turning yeah. into liquids. And leaves a comment. So, yep. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, take care of this guy. And here, just, I think, the, so each level plays with a theme, right? So this one is basically just jumping on, like, hey, using squid forms with brown. So this is a special. This is our Ink Zooka. Check that out. Ooh. Just so fire this, the tornado. This is, like, the most 90s game I've seen in a very long time. <laughs> okay, define 90s game. Let okay, so you've got, it's, this is, like, this is, like, Nickelodeon. This is, like, Gushers. This is Super Soakers. This is, <laughs> oh, all, wow. all the colors are, like, you know, straight out of everything from my from my childhood. Okay. And I'm into it. I, the the, I mean, it feels like a Nickelodeon game show or a Nicktoon. Like you're just this, uh, this slimy little guys. There's a lot of slime. Oh yeah, slime absolutely. Yeah, and as you can. Bit, oh yeah, no, go ahead. A little bit bummed. It's ink. You know, I think slime is a much cooler. You know, you, it's just it, it's semantics really, but. Well, and it still leaves like I mean that's really cool, right? Like almost every splat is slightly different, and you can kind of play around with the physics of the world. Um, and I like that. And obviously, you see me dipping into my ink. That's a big part of the way ammo and this game works. Yeah, that's how you recharge you kind of, your reservoir. Yes, yes. So now, you see the tank on my back. That yeah. shows me how much ink I have. If you haven't been following this game, and you just kind of... Oh, okay. And once he can't find me, watch his behavior. He's just going to... Oh, go back. This got to be purple. Now, does the... Uh is the tank on your back, is that the only kind of on-screen indication of how full it is, aside from when you go under? Yes, that's okay. correct. So, so it's kind of like a Dead Space thing, you kind of mm -hmm. have to keep, keep track of it? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. No, that was a really cool thing, I thought, in, De in Dead Space. I'm glad that uh, they are leaning on that. And, there, yeah, there's no, like, ammo meter in sight, except for when you dip into the ground as a squid. And you move faster when you're a squid, but you can't shoot. So you have to kind of deal with the trade-off. That's sort of what the both the multiplayer and single player are going for. Oh, this guy throws a bomb, and that hurts. Let's move up, get rid of him. Oh, we got a special. We're going to keep it, though. So in the campaign, you are trying to recover the great Zapfish, which, if you've played a Mario game, is sort of like the equivalent of trying to get the stars in Mario, essentially. Um, the great Zapfish has been stolen, and you're sort of recovering these smaller pieces until you find the big one. Okay. This, yeah. isn't, this isn't so heavily a... Single player game though, right? Or is uh, it? It's it's 28 stages. Okay. Uh, it, I love the last encounter. It's probably one of my favorite okay. things I've played, but I can't say much about it because we can't talk about anything past World Three. Right. I am gonna jump to some of the later levels, try and show off a little of like when things really get uh, cool. So let's jump into this sponge garden. Floating sponge garden. See, there yeah. you go. You got a little SpongeBob in there. Mm -hmm. Not really 90s, but that's kind of a Nickelodeon jam. So. Yep, yep, absolutely. All right, and this time we got blue ink. Check that out. And we're off. So shoot the sponge, it gets bigger. I don't like the blue ink as much as the yellow ink. I think no? The yellow ink, the yellow ink looked, like, looked like pee or cheese, so uh, I was kind of into that. But okay, okay, this, okay. I mean, blue ink, like that's what you can fill out government forms with. That's an adult ink. Yep, yep, yep. It's a very boring ink color. Right, here you Purple's go. Purple's okay. 
Teachers would get mad if you use that on a on a quiz. <laughs> you have experience. <laughs> yeah. I used to be a TA. Oh man, tell those my, stories. My uh, my uh, English teacher, I would I would grade uh, vocab tests or vocab quizzes, and he would get mad at me. He wouldn't get mad at me, but he'd tell me like to not be such a such a hard ass about ah. scolding kids for using wrong colored inks. Mm. Okay, but I'd be like, okay, you're, okay. you're undermining my red pen. <laughs> <laughs> I had teachers who who would totally uh, do that. I actually. Uh, had uh, some experience in education too, dude. I was in, uh, I was, I taught math for a while. Oh, watch out for these guys. So the enemies you're fighting are the Octarians, just to give people some context. These are uh, the what's going on octogenarians. Here. Yeah, the octogenarians. The old, old people trying to stop the, the teen squids from having fun. <laughs> Probably, right? So we're gonna jump up here. Some surfaces can't be inked for unexplained reasons, but I think, uh, I don't know, it, it, it's not too much of a bummer. But if an enemy does shoot these, uh, when an enemy shoots these sponges, it does sort of take the color off of them, so okay. I gotta be really careful. So they'll careful. start shrinking again? Yeah, and that guy just gave me a uh, power egg. So these power eggs are important because in single player, you can level up the equipment here, so it fires faster. I should have popped that balloon, but I took off. All right, and I just, one of the things I definitely enjoyed doing is taunting the enemies here. Like, look at him, poor guy's struggling. Um, and there's just a lot of personality, uh, as with Nintendo, as Nintendo games are known to do, right? Like a lot of the enemies. Let's let that shrink a little bit. We got a question here from Ryan Roberts, Rhino okay. Roberts on Twitter. Got? He says, can you play with pointer controls? No, this game does not support the uh, Wii Remote and Nunchuck. It does use the Wii U Pro Controller or the other Pro Controllers that have been out on the market. Although the gamepad uses motion, um, and I guess that's kind of a weird uh, trade-off, right? Like, why not have that then? But for whatever reason, they didn't. Uh, they, I don't think they've elaborated too much on why. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, maybe speculate that it would just be less know, less accessible for menus or something. I don't know. Maybe. That's odd, yeah. Yeah, Gamepad, though, is a, is a really good controller for this game just because in multiplayer, you can sort of look down and get immediate, like, okay, how, we're, how are we doing? And you'll see yeah, you're, uh, when you're, we get to that Yeah, you've got your point. map on there. Yeah, and we could also paint the trees. Yeah, why don't you actually why don't you flip that around and just show oh, yeah, that to Oh, yeah, sure. So this is the single-player map you're seeing. Sorry about the camera. I do play with motion on and james is going to come in and show it to you so this is a single player map in the game um so you just get a quick look on the gamepad of what that's like uh, in multiplayer this is the gamepad super important because you're going to be able to see on there okay how are we doing uh you can also tap on a friendly soldier and jump over to help in that area that's cool granted as long as that person doesn't uh get splat if they do it's okay you'll still land but you're probably in, in trouble territory so i'm going to pull back james all right cool and we're back. And I'm going to paint the tree, too, because I can. Now, friendly reminder, if you guys have questions, just hop on Twitter. Use the hashtag IGNPlaysLive, and we'll keep an eye out. Yeah, these poor guys are sitting ducks. Imagine you're an enemy on that sponge. How much trouble are you in? Those guys with the helicopter hats look pretty miserable, actually. <laughs> yeah, they do. Hopefully, I can hit one of them. Hey, got him. Oh, just a little over. All right, we're pretty much done here. And we're going to move over to uh, one of the later levels, which is built around sliding platforms. It's actually one of my favorites. And what I ha what I can say is that uh, campaign, this is not a throwaway campaign. Like, I really okay. enjoy that. Um, just like a Mario game, there's a lot of variety. Like, they pick a theme for the stage. They stick to it. Um, they develop it. They, they, the challenge ramps up as you go. Um, and I really, really enjoy when Nintendo kind of does that. So I'm going to jump around a little bit to try and find the level I'm looking for. Nope, it's not that one. And now I think one one question, mm -hmm. uh, how how easy is it to pick it up? Like how, how do you find the controls in terms of kind of getting used to them? Um, well, it depends definitely on your preference, right? Like I, uh, I've played with motion on. I do strongly feel that uh, the game is sort of built around that in mind, but you can switch them off. Um, it controls like any third person shooter, if not. Okay, so we're gonna go here, shifting class platforms. Um, it controls like any third-person shooter, if not. You just have to be conscious of how much ink do I have and kind of keeping your uh, part of your awareness on that meter on your back. So when I first played this game at A3, I made the mistake of shoot, 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 and then noticing after the fact, oh, man, I'm out of ink, and you have to, like, kind of stop your action. So if you notice, while I'm playing, I'm doing a lot of dipping and going through. So this entire stage, uh, talking a little bit about what I was saying earlier, this is the theme is sliding platforms, and so we're going to be sliding through things like this a lot okay. to deal with enemies. That's some, that's some fun little fun little platforming there. Yeah, yeah, no, they definitely, uh, they 
developed this idea pretty this, well. This, like, this is one of my favorites. The ink is really, really gorgeous. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, a lot so of good. thought went into it, you can tell. Um, and just like, you, you're kind of, in single player, you don't have to paint everything, but you almost want to. Yeah. Right? Like, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, uh, this is a, I, I really like how it's not, it's not super slime, like they don't have like a slime effect on it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of, like there's definitely some, some gradient there, but it's, it's, really kind of flat it's like painting well, it's like yeah. actual ink like no for sure i'm gonna sneak over here a little bit of texture but oh yep. got him yes yeah, so this reminds me a lot of uh, of the the ink stuff in portal 2. oh yeah no absolutely i've definitely heard uh i've heard folks sort of echo that and i, I think definitely um to some degree it is like that oh so I like this stage a lot because it's busy, right? Like you have to be aware of where the platforms are going and then dip in, get under. Sam Claiborne won't find my destiny. was like, wow, this actually looks challenging. And I'm like, yeah, this is not a throwaway campaign. Like I'm really, really impressed by it. It's short, but it's still sort of short and sweet. Doesn't yeah. take too long to get it out of your way. And sadly though, one of the only ways to get replay value out of it really is through Amiibo or if you're searching for the collectible that's hidden in it. But uh, yeah, I can't say what that's used for, but every stage does have um, something in it. I think they're called Sea Scrolls. And so you kind of want to be aware and be on the prowl for those because they do have a purpose like any collectible in any game. And that was a bad idea. Let's paint. Ooh. Now we actually, we have some of the Amiibo here. Are we allowed to talk about these guys? Yeah, about? absolutely. Show it. Yeah, we've got these little guys. We've got uh, the... Let's see if I can remember their names. Oh, let's there's do it. <laughs> uh, there's Squid Girl, Squid Boy. Okay. And then this is just like a squid. Is that Inkling Squid? Inkling I think, Squid. Yeah. Inkling Boy, Inkling, Inkling boy, Girl. Inkling yeah. Yeah. An Inkling Squid. Yeah. They're just there's 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 teen squids. Yeah. So uh, through Amiibo, you're able to play through uh, campaign levels with an additional challenge on, and you can unlock currency that you use for. <gasps> this is gonna be bad. Oh, I missed it. So that's what death looks like in Splatoon. You got to see it. Uh, so we're back at this checkpoint. But uh, so earlier, I didn't even notice this, but watch, there's sort of like an overhang over there. When I ink it, you actually see like the ink like dripping from it. I thought you'd appreciate that being an art guy. You are an art guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah you and Brian, that, I think that's why we all get along so well. We're all like super visual people. You see that? Oh yeah. Yeah. No, th this is, I've definitely spent my, my fair share of time with actual paint, so mm -hmm. this is like, I played a very boring, uh, gritty, realistic adult version of this game in my downstairs bathroom where <laughs> I painted it. That was really it. Oh no, did I mess up? No, I got through this time. Whoa, that was almost a mistake. Yeah, I was gonna get greedy and get these balloons, I might as well. There's also two more over here. Yeah, I also like sort of the Mario Galaxy feel of it all, where you jump on these launch these launch mm -hmm. platforms are basically like launch stars. Yeah, it's just one of those things that just feels good. Oh yeah, no, that too. Um, oh, that guy's not gonna back off. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, so you're gonna look at Splatoon single player. We're gonna be playing this for a little longer before we switch over to uh, some of the other areas of the game. And I just got wrecked, so I gotta be careful. Uh, let's see, ACX7 on Twitter says, can you use the pro controller in multiplayer or is it just the gamepad? Uh, it is, so in one versus one multiplayer, you can use the Wii U pro controller. In single player, it is just gamepad. And in multiplayer online, it is just gamepad. Really? You cannot okay. switch. Um, I will say though, this is one of the few times um, that using the gamepad kind of makes sense a lot because of being able to see the map at all times in multiplayer, which is critical, right? You need to see the zones that have to be recaptured. Mm -hmm. And having that quick feedback on the screen, like right at your yeah, fingertips you're not is missing really any useful. Objectives. Yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, it is about controlling territory. And when we get to multiplayer later, you can see that. I'm going to say, those things you're collecting look like Dragon Balls. <laughs> you could make so many wishes based on yeah. how many you've picked up so far. <laughs>